There's moose. We oh, heard mice in here or something last night. Anyway, uh, welcome to my shop. And I'm going to start a series of videos. Um, mostly pictures actually, but uh, I'll do some voiceover on them. About this um, Smithy 3-in-1 that I got about three years ago. Didn't know how to use it, but research did some research and it uh, seemed like a pretty good machine. Uh, two horsepower, I think, DC, variable speed, milling, lathing, and it cuts pretty good. Um, so basically when I got this machine, I got it bare bones. Not much to it. Had a bolt-on tool post and whatnot. And I slowly did some upgrades to it. The first thing I did was the bench. Um, there'll be a series on that where I'll go over it. Heavy metal bench. Made it pretty low so that the table was at a good working height for me. Um, second add-on I put was the DRO and well this machine is not really except for the x-axis uh, just pretty straightforward the y and the z-axis were a little bit tricky to get uh, get in there but um, anyway I put a video together on that the installation of the DRO system the third one, I believe the third one was the power drawbar there. This obviously came with a manual drawbar and I was finding to change um, tools. Took about almost 10 minutes per tool, it's rather frustrating. So I came up with an idea for this uh, air powered or pneumatic power draw bar. So that's the third one in the series. Um, fourth one is the cooling. So it's two cooling systems. There's mist cooling and flood cooling. There's the flood coolant controller back there. And I'll go over the build and installation of that unit. And the, probably the final one in this series is I'll make a video on the tooling. It really didn't come with very much tooling, so I've kind of been accumulating tooling as needed. Some of, the, some of which was quite successful, some of it kind of a failure. I'll go over that. wrenches and things, collets and things, and along with the tooling I'll uh, include the installation of a quick release tool post and a couple of vices that I picked up here. Here's a precision vise, nice that I put some blocks on and things. In recent acquisition this interesting quite old vice down here I did some repairs to that and it looks like it turned out okay so that's the unit there and I'll be creating a like I said a series of videos on the upgrades that I've done to it over about the past three years so again, welcome to my shop. Um, somewhere down the line too, I'll probably do an overview of the shop setup here. And I converted my garage into workshop. And of interesting stuff in here. Well, interesting to me anyway. So there you go.
Hope you enjoy. Yeah.